Good morning. So I want to stop treating myself with chocolate. So the key word is want, because actually there's probably some benefits. And if you want to do it, if it has that psychosocial benefit, you enjoy doing it. And actually you're within your calories. It doesn't cause any guilt, shame. You enjoy it. Keep doing it. Actually, that's, probably, that's the place where we want to be eventually, that you can have it as part of your plan, as part of your diet. And actually, there's strategies on this that would suggest to give yourself permission to have it if you want it. And just that in itself might make you go, actually, I don't want it as much right now. But a few things that might help. And one of which was because they don't want to treat themselves well, they, they, don't, they just want to stop doing it. So this is something to consider instead. Like, everything we do is to change the way we feel, right? We do something to change the way we feel. We want to feel better. We want to feel a certain way. We feel rubbish. Chocolate can make us feel better. If we feel good, we can celebrate with chocolate. We associate it, perhaps, with it. So what I want you to do is write down a list of things that could make you feel good. Think. Be curious. Write a list of non-food related rewards. So non-food related rewards that could make you feel good. That could make you feel good. This could be having a bath, meditation, reading a book, buying some flowers, doing your nails, singing, dancing, listening to music. This could be writing down how much you spend on nipping to the shops to get some chocolate when you don't really need it, you don't really want it, that's the key thing. Look how much you spend, total it up. When you can see it, it's sometimes better to look at. But more, it's hard hitting, hits home a little bit more, it shows you what you're saying yes to and what you're saying no to every day. And actually total these up and then have a look at how much you save and how much can you spend on. Treat yourself with some, some flowers. Some, I was speaking to someone the other day, they were like, always feel better. I'm going to wash my hair, feel nice in the evening. And it's like, okay, do you eat the chocolate before you do that or after? Or always before. Okay, so wash your hair, feel good, have a bath. Then give yourself permission to have the chocolate. Good morning, Margaret and give that a go. I posted this in, in words earlier, yesterday. A few people said, this definitely works for me. Not saying it's going to work for everyone. But they said how effective it's been for them. And, you know, I can tell you now, it 100% won't work if you don't try it. So be curious. Well, if it could work. And if you don't know what could make you feel good, give it a go. Anyway, I hope that helps. Any questions? As always, let me know. Our Kickstart program starts next week. 28 day Kickstart specifically for women, 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus, 70 plus, 80 plus. If you want to have fun, get fit. Don't want to go to a standard gym. Want a bit more of a personalized approach from the coaching point of view, from the training point of view, to make sure what you're doing is safe, effective, to get that muscle strength working. Comment below of Kickstart, send me a message, and I'll get you the details. Have a lovely day. Didn't expect this rain. Anyway quite freshly now. Hopefully this phone is more waterproof than I think. So I'll see you 